okay if you look at it as a container ship uh it is meant to carry boxes of uniform sizes uniform means the uniform dimensions like 20 feet by 8 feet by 8 feet 6 inches now i know you all are not really familiar with what is foot foot is uh, one of the imperial units which was used by british and then it traveled to usa and usa is firmly stuck on it and since they were the leaders in container trade they had even a different sizes you know they had uh, 16 feet 23 27 36 something like that okay but then uh, over a period like in uh, 60s they were this is the first container ship uh, sailed when i was born but it was used only in usa for internal things and later on because it's an intermodal what happens the big box can be carried on barges it can be carried on the train and etc etc so they had their own trade and they had their own uh, road regulations and also it was restricted then once it became more international concept they had meeting and all and there they all agreed that to make the trade big and it is absolutely humongous size let us stick to some boxes uniform sizes so they reached agreement on 20 feet by 8 feet by 8 feet 6 inches like 20 feet is the length 8 feet is the width which is common height can have variation 8 feet 6 inches it can be 9 feet 6 inches and if you want you can even make because it's box base dimension must be same 20 feet and multiple of 20 so 40 feet there are some containers who are 45 feet but they have to be loaded in a specific manner on deck they can't be loaded under deck they because you know some trades needed 45 feet in length like if you are transporting pipes whose length is 45 feet so there has been something now that is a deeper subject itself so let's not get into it now what happens is i have got a box this box i need to load like for example this is the size of a box okay just assume it is thick uh, i think maybe i have one box one minute <laughs> okay assume this is the box okay so this is the dimension i load one box i load second box on top of it third on top of it side by side i load now what happens is these boxes so you can actually work out i am going to put 10 boxes so what is 8 into 10 i need 80 feet and then what we will be doing is because when you put it inside a big box the small boxes are going inside a big box that is the shape of a container cross hole uh, you know hole smooth sides you just slide them in now for sliding them in we make some sort of a brackets they are called cell guides that means when i put the first box it slides down exactly in that slot then another box goes on top of it and they are held in four corners by some sort of a bracket that is called cell guide so this is one then another one then another one another one like that so here uh, they are secured properly in the hole by because they are in the bracket so they can't move around now what happened is earlier ships they used to load in a different way and all but today container ships when you say there will be cell guides in the hold so that you just slide them in it fits perfectly you close the hatch cover which is very strong and then you load on top when you load on top you have to join them with each other by uh, there are some securing arrangements okay they are called twist locks there are too many words i don't want you to get too much into it 
and the twist locks lock the lower box with this box with the upper box on deck. So they are locked here. Then there are lashing rods and all to tie them up so that in rolling they will not fall over. You must have seen one picture is going around right now. Some ship has uh, faced massive, massive damage in Pacific. Now that is the first time I have seen so much. I have seen some pictures where some stacks had fallen down and all. But this one is looking really horrible. Means I didn't understand uh, why they entered the storm. You see, no matter what happens, storm is still a lot more powerful than ships. So you don't go purposely there when there is a, a chance of getting into really battle. Accidentally a little bit possible, but this is really too much. Now again what happens is, okay, getting back to our ships. Your intention is to load and discharge cargo fast, as fast as possible. So most of the container ships, 60% of the cargo is above hatch covers, above. In the whole, there will be only about 40%, 35%. And rest is on top. So because from top to top it is much faster. Instead of putting go down and take it up. So today the big ships have reached approximately uh, 20,000 TEUs. And if your TEU is 20 foot equivalent unit. Means this is the unit. This 20 feet. Then. They each container, you take approximately, no trade, according to trade, there are averages, okay. I am just taking approximately 10 tons per container, whereas one container can load as much as, say, 35 tons. So, it depends on a cargo, like if you load, say, some special materials which come, no, for uh, wrapping and all, they are extremely light. Container is full, but weight is only one ton. And then you have got like steel. If you load it, container is only this much full, but weight is already 30 better. And then containers are designed also. There is a huge variety, a specialized subject. Anyway, container ships, what happens is they are like cargo ships. You discharge cargo, you load cargo. So only when they come out of dry docks or when they are delivered, they are empty. After first put loading, they keep on. Discharge, load, discharge, load, discharge, load till they go to dry dock. That time they have to be empty normally. Again, I am using word normally. I have been to a dry dock. It was a smaller container ship with full load. Because Japan has got some special rules, you know. That if you come from directly from outside, then you don't pay certain taxes. So that means dry docking becomes cheaper. So we went directly. So, a lot of things are possible. So, don't rule out anything like thumb rule is not possible or something. Lots of things are possible. But as usual, all ships have got double bottom tanks. So, container ship has got double bottom tank under their containers. And container ships have got a wing tank. Why? Because we need parallel sides so that our boxes are loaded properly. So, you don't want shape like this. Right? This sort of a shape you can get. No? So, no. We want absolutely parallel box shape. So, we create wing tanks. So, everything is smooth. So, in simple words, if you really look at a cross section of it, it is a, like a strong box created with double frame and inside that you are loading content. And then you close it and you continue loading on top. And secure it. Now they can load, they can load nine high in the hold. Why? Because the containers are designed to take so much of weight. Like, see this one box, you put second box, put third box, fourth box, figure. So this has to be strong enough. So the containers are strong enough to take nine high easily. Today, they are designing different containers who are stronger than that. So that you put it down and then it can take the weight of the containers on top. 
So it's a thread which will be changing all the time. Then you created a box to load boxes inside. Then as usual you attach bow and stern. That is how we make the ship. Now fuel oil is not allowed. Fuel oil is not allowed in double bottom. So you create something like deep tanks. You remember deep tanks from our cargo ship? Similar ones you create on top of double bottom tanks. On top of double bottom tanks. And again you get a plain surface to load the containers. So fuel oil will be there. Other one, there are other options. You have got a superstructure put forward. In that case underneath you have got a space. Now make fuel oil tanks there, no problem. But you can't be part of a double bottom tank or a wing tank. Got it? Now, there is a certain ballast capacity on container ship. Generally, it is used because you get stresses. One side is heavy, other side is light. Then to adjust it, you use it. Now, a superstructure, where do you place it? Because there are issues. Okay, we will get on diagram. There are issues. So, one second, I have to take one call. Hello. Good morning, Bolo. I have slides in the But what is Normally, हम लोग शेयर करते हैं ना शेयरिंग स्क्रीन तो स्क्रीन पे जो हम लोग करते हैं वो नॉर्मल करने का एंड वो ऑटोमेटिकली वो ही फॉलो होते रहता है स्क्रीन शेयरिंग में जो कुछ अपने स्क्रीन पे है यू जैसा ऑपरेट करने का वैसे कर लो एंड वो वैसे के वैसे ही दिखेंगे सब स्टूडेंट्स को वो मालूम नहीं मेरे को नहीं मालूम मैंने यूज नहीं तो चलना तो चाहिए क्योंकि ज़ूम में सिर्फ वो स्क्रीन रिप्रेजेंटेशन होता है बाकी कंप्यूटर जैसा चलता है वैसा ही चलता है ट्राई करके देखो वैसा का वैसा चलता है नहीं नहीं लेकिन मैंने कभी यूज नहीं किया है क्या होता है ना मैं लैपटॉप से यूज करता है तो जैसा मैं नॉर्मल करता है वैसे ही करते रहता है अपना माउस से मेरे ख्याल से चल नहीं चलना तो चाहिए मेरे ख्याल से चलना चाहिए क्योंकि जैसा कंप्यूटर ऑपरेट करते हैं वैसे ही हम लोग ऑपरेट करते हैं सब कुछ ज़ूम से खाली वो इमेज जाती है तो फिर तो एक अपने पास होएगा ना किधर किसके कर किसके पास होएगा एक ट्राई करने के लिए You're welcome. Okay. Now, these ships, when they are loading, there's a big box. You are loading something here, something, and it's quite fast. Okay. It's quite fast. Believe me. Uh, generally, uh, big ships, you have got eight QCs working. 8 QCs into 30, that is the average, 240 boxes, boxes, huh? some of them may be 40 foot or some are 20, that is the minimum, 240 boxes per hour is bare minimum, most of the time they pick up 2 or Chinese, they are picking up 6 containers at a time, so you can imagine what sort of, so what happens is there is unbalancing of the weight. कभी ऐसा होएगा कभी ऐसा होएगा ये चालू रहता है जैसे लोडिंग चालू रहता है डिस्चार्जिंग चालू रहता है सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज दे गॉट ऑटोमेटिक हीलिंग टैंक्स सो कंटेनर शिप्स वन ऑफ द मेजर फीचर्स इज ऑटोमेटिक हीलिंग टैंक्स एंड दे आल्सो हैव गॉट अंडर डेक पैसेज टू एक्सेस फोर एंड आफ्टर एरियाज बिकॉज़ द सी कैन बी रफ दे हैव गॉट वेल प्रोटेक्टेड टनल्स यू नो बोथ द साइड्स ऑफ द शिप यू कैन गो फॉरवर्ड एंड आफ्टर नॉर्मली so it depends on the wing tank design. Wing tanks may not be right up to main deck. They may be little bit below and they may be tunnel. 
so again it depends on the design now let's have a look at this now i just superimpose a typical thing what you are likely to see from sites okay assume assume this is the shape this is old fashioned design but usually you have got four peak collision bulkhead then transverse bulkheads then superstructure under superstructure you have got machinery space so engine is here and propeller is there so you have got a shaft tunnel also okay so in the center there will be a shaft tunnel and this design smaller size container ship accommodation uh, superstructure can be here now you will notice it lots of new ships which you see on youtube and all there are superstructure somewhere here in this area the reason these are new ships so they have got fuel oil tanks underneath the superstructure is here now see the problem what we have got we are going to load these boxes on deck containers will be loaded on deck this is what you have placed it under deck okay then they call bays and all there is a full system but they are under deck then you close the hatch cover wherever okay this is not showing exactly this is a profile view then hatch covers are closed and you continue loading on top of it then you secure it but now what happens is you want to load as high as possible what about when you are standing here when you are standing there your view will be something like this okay whatever it is that means there is this much area you cannot see okay that much of area we cannot see this is arc of visibility issue so there is a blind sector we can't see there so there are regulations how much can be the blind sector of a ship for safety of others blind spot no spot is one small thing this is a blind sector it's a huge area you cannot see anything in that now to avoid this to avoid this problem especially in some coastal coastal ones have got their superstructure right here superstructure and then the ship is open and in the end engine room is a machinery space is somewhere here on top of machinery space also you can load containers and you will find two small uh, port side starboard side funnels and a uh, superstructure is right here this happens on certain feeder ships why because they have to do lot of things and they like you know you are going in thailand with lot of fishing traffic china so then this becomes easy because then he can see down like this so there isn't much of blind sector very little so this became a issue now if you have got superstructure here you have got an even worse problem because then the blind sector will go so much that means what happens the regulations come sorry you can't load so much here you load only this much here okay so you can see better like this so superstructure on a container ship can be placed right aft where your arc of visibility is affected you somewhere like where i have showed it rolling see rolling is sideways we are looking front so yes blind sectors do get affected in uh, rolling and pitching both pitching the ship goes like this up and down in four and up direction you know up and down so these things get affected 
but our problem is you want to load maximum but they are causing obstruction so you cannot load right so they experimented a lot and again what happens the placing weights and all and working out the how the ship will be after loading and all there are a lot of issues which naval architects check so today is those super long ones the 400 meter long container ships there this thing is somewhere here okay so that they have got a reasonable clearance they follow the regulation and aft you will find blind sector is huge. So, superstructure can be here, some ships can be right here, some ships here, some ships there, depending on the ship. But the thing is simple, there will be double bottom tanks. On top of double bottom tanks, you are loading all the containers. When you reach the full hold is full, you close the lids, that is hatch covers. They are pontoon type, means they are not hydraulic. They are just lifted by the crane, put ashore. When the job is over, the lid is put back. And then you load on top to maximize whatever you can load. Masks, as usual, you will have to place masks for navigation purpose. So this is the way we will look at it at the side view. You can show superstructure anywhere, aft, here, here, depend on size of the ship. Now, this is how it will look from side. Okay, I will reduce this size so that our picture will be in one frame. Still it's not going to come and it will become too small. Okay, let's go this way. This is shell plating. Okay, hull. Outer hull. This is inner hull. Because why? There is a wing tank in the middle. This wing tank is there because, I'll tell you why. This wing tank is there because I cannot make hatch cover up to this end. No matter what I do, it is simply not possible to make it right till the end. So I have to leave some space. I leave minimum of space. Minimum is really minimum, one and a half meter. Some ship may be 2 meters, but that is all you have got. So there is a bulwark there. Now this area, this much I have to leave, I cannot help it. So under this, you can have like this. This is the space which is created as a tunnel. And you have got access to it so that in bad weather, you don't get on deck. You go under, you can go right to the forward store. You can go right to the steering gear compartment from the air. Under that, under that, I create a tank. Now what happens? All the framing, ship side framing is inside. Whatever the strength members are here, the all the framing goes in the wing tank. So this surface, this surface, This surface is absolutely smooth. Okay. So that I can fit my boxes very easily. Now that when the box lands here, now see the whole, it's taking load of 3, 6, 7, 8, 9 containers, whatever it is. They are going to rest. Now containers have got shoes. The Each container box, box has got 1, 2, 3, 4 corners. They are stiffened, stiffened or I will say strengthened to take the load of the whole frame. So, that is what we have got the special structures underneath to give a support. Okay, when double bottoms are created, this is considered where to give extra support so that the container weight can be taken. Then, you have got double bottom tank. 
container ships are long so you will have here or you know it can be like i told you duck keels can be two sides or maybe center line duck keel but generally you will find two sides and there will be three double bottoms port center starboard and in between them you may have a two shaft tunnels not shaft tunnel uh duck keels so it depends depending on pipelines and all how you are going to carry it and all so on then we go little up now now what happens is ship is a girder girder means it has to be strong longitudinally otherwise it will start breaking when there is a weights placed so strength is given now what strength comes from is the ship side hull plating straight there are frames there double bottom has got frames so longitudinally we become strong in spite of that we need to have more so generally this bulkhead also this bulkhead also is strengthened and and here in the middle middle area also there is a special deep girders and all to make sure that ship is strong in fore and aft direction it will not bend because it become longer and longer 400 meters long is really long so there are some strength members so generally from a far off you think all the boxes are touching each other no here here in the holes there will be space why because there is some strength member there framing so there is the vertical space will be clear underneath small gaps will be there between the cell guides small very small means uh, i will say uh, two centimeters gaps you will find then when you close this hatch cover these are pontoons okay you walk here this is the area on deck your containers are on top of you you walk under okay they're stored so they are not going to fall down and these are called container stools you know the bulwark just next to bulwark there are strong fittings to take the load of the containers there will be same height of the hatch cover when it is closed same height they are called container stools <coughs> where the container rests and underneath there is a passage for you to walk and then in between we like here for example in between you have got all lashing arrangements here here so there are uh, lashing bridges where you climb up and all so you lash it now here for example i have shown a gap in the middle it need not be there the dimensions are carefully measured and according to that okay how much across 22 across that means 22 boxes are across so underneath like for example here i have shown you six on top i have shown you eight they can be nine they will accommodate this also in the middle normally it is not done unless you have got port center starboard hatch covers and it is possible because hatch covers weight is restricted to 45 metric tons maximum generally they will be around 40 tons how do we reach this figure because the container cranes the qc's what we call the big cranes which load discharge containers have got capacity of 45 tons that is the industry standard so you make sure your hatch cover is about 40 tons 42 tons and that's it it is marked there anyway so crane driver also knows he can lift it up or no and then you load now here on deck you do load 9 high 10 high also depending on the ship okay so it's a huge operation huge simply but what you must understand is this is the strength of the container ship see here 
we have got frames to make a stronger part then you have got double bottom full of frames so what we have achieved is a double skin box and then we load things inside and it is closed so this is why it is a very strong girder they are very strong ships even in spite of the fact that we try to make them as light as possible but they are very strong did you understand it huh tell me some answers yes, feedback sir. yes sir so sir, this yes, is how sir. the drawing you should be able to draw sir can you sir can you explain me that containers tools containers tool is a base fitting where you rest the containers here what happens is i i can load up to here because there is a hatch cover then there is a gap but i want to load containers here otherwise this area will, you know will go waste so i create supports like you know like a pillar type it's a framing uh, i am just saying pillar type we to get you idea it has got certain dimensions and you put them so that say the box will land like this okay this part is a hatch cover okay this part and this side is a container stool so when i put the box one side lands on the container stool other side is on the hatch cover did you get it now Yes, sir. Got it. Then, container ships. Any doubts now? Anything? Hello, sir. Huh? So you told uh, that the crane driver look uh, on the hatch cover. It is written forty two tons and forty five tons, sir. What was that? See and what happens is the weight of the hatch cover, which we call pontoons. Why? Because they are not linked with hydraulics, but they are like you know the simple a piece which is lifted, removed, and then put back. Now what happens? Container. One second. Eh? what happens is the container driver is sitting at really height now container driver is sitting above this above this height okay he's you see travels on top they need very good eyesight and coordination from that height they perfectly align it and there is some support system by which you bring it within the so much of percentage and it will ha happen automatically there are guides so he has to see he knows the capacity of his qc so from there everybody knows yes weight is so much in case there is an odd ship where the weight is higher and then you know it can happen but generally you will not see it but nobody assumes the weight because also all these qcs or all the container handling equipment in the port has got built in weighing scales so when they lift it up they get the scale saying that it is overweight or whatever it is they will get alarm got it yes sir yes it. sir okay so let's move down to the next type of ships passenger ships all cabins must have portals they are floating hotels but every hotel you are not going to get a room in hotel without uh, natural light and glass right the windows same way you have got portals now there are cabins so you want to show them see so you show them see that is normal so the cabins will be on side in between area you can use for variety of things now it is really uh, depending on a passenger ship what type it is it is uh, impossible to really draw any conclusion because different types of passenger ships exist luxury then there can be ferry types there can be the ones where you just sit and go across that is also passenger anyway then 
remember important rule nobody lives under water means the water level is here below that there are no cabins to live yes work areas are down but there will be no cabin no residential places below water line everything is above because water line if you have got openings in the transfer thing they have to be water tight that means do not weather tight they have to be water tight so it is another requirement which you will study in next semester now what you need on passenger ship you have got machinery variety of it okay stores galleys large number of galleys huh? the professional you are cooking meals for few thousand people so you have got many types of kitchens there which are run by the what do you say the catering staff and all that is a specialist staff hotel industry staff is separate than the ship staff then water you need large amount of water fuel tanks laundry fresh water generator and you know you have to add imagination to it because everything sauna so on a room will be on top but machinery may be there to produce steam may be down and then steam is provided on top anything below water line is normally non passenger stuff it is for the ship seats and we supply things now midship section is different than the aft if you depend on the section where you cut the ship because of activities like that then you have got shopping malls practically there open deck swimming pools and decks you name it movie hall concert areas everything is possible what happens is like i told you it's a hotel so there are large number of decks which is travel there is no other cargo so it is only large number of decks cargo is passengers and then there is vertical separation requirement like that is why this hull when you look at it okay you have got usual bow and all then you have got vertical bulkage transverse bulkage just like every other ship so in case there is a hole or anything still ship is not going to sink okay passenger ships you have to be lot more careful so most of them have got wing tanks which are used for storing water ballast or fresh water because you need large fresh water very large amount double bottoms will be there fuel tanks will be down somewhere and this all area is full of all the laundry bin you know commercial uh, uh, requirements but no passengers below water line any time never they are above so you have got variety of decks like in you know, a one deck two deck three decks engine is here so of uh, no passenger ships can have two engines for better maneuvering capacity and so on now what happens is vertical ones compulsory because in case of accident you restrict the damage in one so it is always compulsory on every ship there is a large amount of life saving appliances fire fighting life boats you will have maybe about 50 life boats some youtube videos will give you better idea about what it is but as usual the here now wheel house wheel house may be here not on top why because okay this is good enough for you to see properly and you can run it top part may be left for passengers upar se baith ke dekhne ka hai a special lounge created you one can sit there enjoy drinks and see the view so that do you give those things preference so it will be but the decks will be something like that here you will have all passenger cabins different decks different uh, then i have shown you some sort of uh, staircases and all will be there elevators will be there staircases will be there staircases will be always there companion ways what we say will always be there regardless of you having 
n number of elevators. You may have escalators or anything the way you find it as well. Now, I tried to give you an idea on a cross section what it is. Okay. This is water line. This is water line. So, above water line, you will generally have crew cabins and spaces and passengers go above that. And then depending on what sort of cabins they have or, you know, you will have uh, suites, you will have ordinary cabins, deluxe cabins and so on. They are all on sides. And the middle part is used for stores, this, that, you know, depending on, you know, some of the ships, you will find cabins are on the side like uh, our shopping malls and in the middle there is an area for activity. Officers' cabins will generally be somewhere closer to the working areas, but they are isolated from the passenger cabins. There is no mixing there. So, if you all are thinking that you are going on one of the passenger ships and like you see in all the movies and all, you are not going to get. Navigation bridge on top, it can have variety of designs and top areas will be also available for passengers to roam around and they like to come to bridge also and then they are tactfully moved away tactfully because you can't tell them uh, get out so you have to do it in a nice way in case they find way there normally they also know these are restricted areas you can't go there because you can disturb and you can have accident but they have got equivalent stuff created so that for uh, views and all it's possible they are on top here, below water line, you will have decks and all, but what happens is here you use for storage of fuel, provision, oxygen, machinery, all sorts of support systems are here. And as usual, double bottom tanks. And here you will have generally wing tanks. Okay. So, in case of accident, you have a double hull on the lower side where there is a possibility of collision or damage. So you got double hull, so the passenger ship is not going to sink. And also passenger ships have got a very special arrangement to correct the heel. What happens is sometimes somebody shouts, oh there is a whale on starboard side. Believe me, everybody will rush to starboard to see passing, uh, this whale. And suddenly ship will lose balance. Possible. So. There is an arrangement to quickly and it is a requirement in case, in case of accident and there is a flooding and ship gets listed badly, you can quickly correct it. There is a requirement because passengers will panic and start jumping overboard and you will have bigger casualties. So there are arrangements. Plus passenger ships also, now I am talking about now in this case luxury passenger ships and all, they have got a stabilizing systems. They are like fins which are pushed out, sorry, they are pushed out and then they are, uh, you know, powered. It's like uh, you, rudder, rudder is on vertical axis, these fins are on, like rudder, but they are on horizontal axis and they detect the slight uh, movement and they start giving opposite thing to neutralize it so that normally these ships do not roll at all. They will go like a steady thing, you know, and of course, they generally go in good weather, they don't go to bad weather. So, anything okay now, you will be able to draw this diagram. Here, you can also draw, okay, wing tank. This is wing tank, this is wing tank. So, show wing tank also. It is better. Then, because otherwise it just becomes box, you know, guy, if in case somebody gives, I don't think this is the right question to give anyway. But you got the idea, no? Nobody leaves this underwater. Never. Cabins are never ever underwater. Because in case of accident, somebody will die there. They are all above water. Okay? Any doubts?
Hmm. Any doubt? No, sir. No, sir. I know that you are a smart guy. Hmm. I must say that so you will not ask doubts. <laughs> now, normally keep it simple. It works. Always works when you keep it simple and just mm-hmm. get the meaning right. You know, making it complex and trying to say, "Are I am doing very important job, man." You can work like this, but actually, if it is simple, it's simple. Why make it complex? Just take example. Hmm? See, which are the most popular, uh, let's say, music forms in India? Most popular one is probably party one. Is uh, our uh, Punjabi Bhangra beat, right? All the this Daljeet Singh and ye wo sab log, all of them have been playing that only for a long time. You know, history is over uh, 25 years probably. More, sorry, more than 30 years. Baba Saigal and Alisha Chinoy and all this started. And uh, some of the Punjabi that beat caught on. You know, and then you have seen uh, one after other, the many singers came from there. First one was Baba Saigal. And after that, they have been, and now that butcher, Daljit Singh. No? It's a, but see, the things were simple. It was never complicated. Means you could actually sing the song. Hmm? Tempo was there, you could take a table and start doing tick, 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 and you will get it. Like uh, American music got the drums from Africa with the drugs, a drums tempo. They created super hits. Because that is where the dancing, everything comes in and people feel more relaxed. So keep it simple. It works. You know the examples? I don't know. These are all old examples actually. There is one. Menu Kala Chashma. Poor guy keeps on saying only that line. Kala Kawa Kaat Jayega. I don't know how many times that Kala Kawa pit him. Heard these songs? Anybody? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 